Hi, I'm John Walsh, and I'm the Director of Product Marketing here at SSH Communications Security. And I'm here to talk about SSH keys and to tell you what they are and why they're important and why you should care about them. SSH keys are, cred are credential, just like passwords or certificates. But they're different from certificates because they never expire and there's no central authority such as a certificate authority to govern over your access for SSH keys. And this can lead to situations where you have duplicate and unnecessary SSH key access all throughout the environment. And unlike passwords, SSH keys are stored on personal devices and they're stored on machines themselves. They involve two different parts, both a private and public key. The private key is stored on the device you're connecting from and the public key is stored on the device you're connecting to. And this can lead to situations where someone compromises one machine and they're able to steal the SH keys from that machine and connect to all the machines that device has access to. And if you were to draw a picture of where you can gain access from one machine to another machine in a typical Fortune 500 company, you'd find that someone can gain access to one machine and gain access to everything in the environment. So why this is important is because there's been a lot of news lately about breaches caused by phishing scams or zero day viruses or ransomware. And we've found that attackers are stealing credentials once they get in. Once they've breached the perimeter, they're interested in credentials because that's the best way to spread the attack all throughout the environment. This is not just someone saying this, there's actual evidence of this happening because it's the most effective way to spread an attack because these credentials tie together all the machines in your environment and it's the best way to spread the, the attack everywhere. So if you weren't able to steal credentials once you breached into someone's system, you would only have access to that one machine and the, the breach would be contained to just one machine and you wouldn't be able to spread it to other machines that were not affected by the initial breach. This is why people are after SSH keys and other credentials, and especially SSH keys, because they're stored, stored on these devices and not managed by a central certificate authority or some other type of central authority. So we, as the inventors of the SSH protocol, we recommend that you take assessment of the total SSH key access picture and determine who can gain access to what, if you have any sort of like compliance violations or separation of duty violations and determine if someone's able to gain access from your test environment to your production environment. And then from there, we recommend you get rid of any duplicate access, old access, um, or access that's just not needed to reduce your attack surface, to have fewer credentials out there that are not necessary or possibly violate some sort of compliance standards. And once you do that, we recommend you remediate and remove all that access and lock down your environment and make sure you have complete control and continuous discovery of any new access that's dropped in later. Because there are certain tools that are put in place from other vendors that can be simply bypassed by dropping in an SH key pair after the fact. So we recommend you reach out to us and visit us at ssh.com to find out more and to get your free risk assessment to assess the situation and see if you're at risk and see how far an attack can penetrate once it, it breaches the perimeter.